What is up? Adventure Agents. Agent Tex here. Don't worry, it is not actually D.B. Cooper. So Agents, today we are going to do a D.B. Cooper survival video. And the first survival challenge is, I have on me right now one of the parachutes that D.B. Cooper took when he hijacked that plane and jumped out so long ago in 1971. And we got a go-kart here, an Agent Axe and Tommy. Tommy are going to help pull me Tom, while I'm on the back of the go-kart <laughs> and we're gonna see if I will take flight what do you think you think it's gonna work we'll see so after I survive this challenge if I do then we're gonna build a shelter out of this parachute here and right now Luke from the outdoor boys is already working on that so let's get this going you ready Agent strong man all right let's do it Start driving. Start driving. Go, 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 that was cool. Oh, that hurt though. Man. Whoo. That was awesome. Okay, so I survived. I only got like a foot of air, but I survived. Oh. Can I do it? Can you? No. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's. That's definitely not safe for you. Oh, you only broke like every bone in your body. I only broke. Well, I won't say what I broke, but it was rough. <laughs> you did break anything. <laughs> oh! There she is. <laughs> All right. Okay, no. well, we got to get this parachute to Luke. Because he's already getting the shelter going in. <laughs> We're losing daylight here. But first, do you want to get your agent badge? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. All right, Tommy and Nathan up here are going to get their official adventure agent badges. We got to get Agent Strawman to help us out there. So let's head to the Adventure Agents HQ and get them hooked up with their badges. All right, agents, here we are in the HQ. And it looks a little bit different because we have a whole lot more merchandise here. Agent Strawman has been fulfilling orders like crazy. Yeah, the Adventure Agents HQ is a Ever expanding. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think. Do you think we're gonna run out of room soon here? Uh, yeah, pretty. Probably. Soon. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot more items in. So, anyways, uh, I look so ridiculous <laughs> in this suit. It's. it's you great. look so cool. It's from one day. It's just a little too big. Agent Strongman, believe it or not, used to be stronger. He said he used to pump iron, and he would like fill this suit in pretty heavily. So, I couldn't imagine you being any stronger, but. I guess you were. Back in the day. <laughs> you, you will, uh, you really look like Dini Cooper. Thank you. What are your agent names? Have you decided yet? Uh, my agent name is Agent Nature. Nice. That is awesome. Love it. And what is your agent name? Agent Ninja Ninja. That is so cool. Did you hear that? Isn't that cool? Agent Ninja. ninja. That is awesome. It is, that is it's so your neat. Agent name is a ninja then. Uh huh. That <laughs> is awesome. And what is your what agent name, name going to be? Agent Shark. Agent what? Shark. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Dude, give me five. Because that is an awesome because agent name. he makes great white soaks. So. Sharks are pretty mean creatures, but they're awesome creatures too. So. He makes great white soaks. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, well, I guess I guess first things first, we, we need to get photos of these agents, right? Do you think you could take photos, Agent Strawman? Yeah, sure. Let's All right, it. awesome. Agent Nature is going to get a picture in nature. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, look up real quick. <gasps> hey, Agent Shark, what's up? Up. Wait here. a minute. What? What is this? Traitor! Traitor! He's wearing the Outdoor Boys merch. Hey, hey, hey! That's okay. Hey! Oh, it's covering DB. He's in disguise today. <laughs> no! We... They gave us these awesome t shirts, and yeah, we are so all, all grateful all for them to give us that. Man. Let me see your shirt. What's that? Outdoor Girls? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, look at these two, outdoor boy and outdoor girl here. Okay, you guys, so we got your badges going, all right? But, but, we're gonna print a badge for your dad. 
what? We're gonna, we're gonna surprise him with a badge. <laughs> I thought he did what? Well. He didn't, but we're gonna surprise him with that. He is a master of camping. That is for sure. And so Agent I was camp. thinking Agent Camp Master. You like that it? That sounds good. Okay, what? all right, let's do it. No, Agent Agent Fisherman Camp. No, Camp Fisherman. Well, that's a little too much. That's no, little, no, no, no. I think it's a little. No, it's Agent <laughs> Camp King. Camp King. That's camp cool King. too. Camp King. That's great. I like camp that too. King. You guys are the sons of your father. I think you should decide. Camp King it is. All right, Agent Shawman. Camp King. Agent Camp King. All right, I that's got his great photo here. Look, he's, he's out in the, dude, he's out yeah, that's doing perfect. some serious camping right there. Yeah, so. one... Luke seriously is the Camp King, so I think that's a great title for him. Oh, oh nice. that one. All right, we got Agent Camp King done here. Here you go, Tommy. So we got Agent Aninja Denja here. Nice. Agent Nature here. Nice, awesome man. All right, so now we got to get them some Adventure Agents merchandise, of course. So and we're going to grab some clothing here and, and some backpacks and, and whatever else they want. All right, Agent Strawman, so I say we start with a backpack. What do you okay. think? And stuff yeah. things with it? Agent Shark. <laughs> so <laughs> hey. we got you a badge. Oh. This you can't here. come to the Adventure Agents. Agent Camp King. Agent oh, Camp King. <laughs> that's a nice one. <laughs> Nice. Daddy, so we I know you're gonna wear it proud everywhere you go now. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, I picked it out. But you know, it is perfect. It, they did pick it out. I was saying Camp Master because to me, you are the camping master. But they said Camp King, and I was like, that's great too. So, Royalty's always nice. Yes, Royalty's always nice. <laughs> All right, so we got everything going here. We got our backpacks with empty shorts. Inside. We have, now I know you like Life Learning Littles, so we got you a Life Learning Littles music box. We have the Adventure Agents water bottle. We have the Adventure Agents fire starter kit here. And then we have a pen. The Adventure Agents pen. Adventure Agents pen. He already has a pen. He has a pen. We can have two pens. <laughs> and then you have the exact same thing in your backpack too. Hey! It's D.B. Cooper himself. True game. And we're giving them each an Adventure Agents lantern, too. Yeah, you totally missed out. it. We did a survival deer uh, yeah. based on, inspired by you. Oh. So I had my glasses on, mm -hmm. and I st stood on the back of the go-kart. Luke had an awesome idea. <laughs> First, it started out just running, right? Yeah. And then he said the zip line. Yeah. Yeah, and then we went on the zip well, line I, with the parachutes. That was my and then, idea. The zip line and then Luke, my idea. when we were oh, done, oh, it was his, okay, it was his idea. I, I, I heard you say it first. And then Luke said, oh, just wait till we get in the go-kart. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so we, I saw the light bulb. <laughs> <above your> head. <laughs> uh, so you missed it, but I put it on my back and I stood on the back of the go-kart and I had them book it. <laughs> and then I jumped through the air and it, it didn't work that well because actually I couldn't hold on. It was so hard. Yeah, it's really pulls yeah, you, doesn't it? It does. And the go-kart actually wasn't strong enough. It was either me holding on tighter or the go-kart, right? So I was actually kind of strong enough to hold it to where it, it wouldn't actually pull me. So anyways, I got some air. It was pretty cool. All inspired by I you. I tried to get over here earlier. Oh yeah. I had company all well, You can watch the movies. So yeah. the, or the video later, <laughs> but hey, he, he just built a shelter out of a out of one of the parachutes. So you want to go down and check it out? Sure. All right, we'll see how you might have built the shelter whenever you. boys. <laughs> so I'm helping to bring some camping gear down to Luke, and I am so excited to see what he built. I was supposed to help him build this shelter, and I was just taking the kids to do some fun stuff real quick. And then he comes up to the HQ and is like, "I'm done." So let's see what the camp king built. Are we gonna sleep with them tonight? Wow. Are we gonna sleep that with That is today? incredible. That looks okay. Dude, that looks more than okay. <laughs> that looks like oh, a, yeah, a TV looks... fit for a Camp King. Yeah. <laughs> the, the door's around the corner. Please help yourself. That, oh, yeah. This is so cool. Inside. All right, the door's here. Let us inside. enter. Wow. How many people can we fit in here? This is nine. pretty cool. Nine this actually, is pretty nine. cool. We think nine? Man. Wait, uh oh, the fire marshal's gonna show up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. There's too many. Is Fanny gonna sleep here? She's a half Agent Tracker? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fanny's gonna sleep with us. Yeah, but oh, she'll just have to be right no, next to you. She'll, she'll be tucked away in that corner over there. They had a dog. <laughs> so, you need a hole up there in a fire. Yeah, you know what? Oh, yeah. There, there is actually a hole up there. There's a hole at the top of the parachute, and we, me and Luke were talking about that. 
we were kind of concerned because we don't know much about this material if like just a little spark might yeah, you know catch you the off fire so I, I don't know spark. yeah don't, that's don't burn cedar don't yeah, burn, yeah right don't <laughs> pop 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 yeah so is this a little bit what like you would have built now I, I i i saw this from kind of afar off so you probably would have disguised it a lot more right yeah i didn't have orange yeah oh okay yeah that's right <laughs> yeah had orange, he's not more admitting like, to guilt here more like camouflage right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you got there a hoe that can rip up roots a hoe that can rip Whoa. up roots can i see you yeah. use it to rip up roots yeah. let me see you know, I fully expected that to break. It didn't break. That's pretty cool. I have a trident. So, Asian Ninja Dendra's got his weapon of choice here. Trident! <laughs> You're on, Cross your legs, lock them together. You won't fall off as easy. Is that fun? So, one of the things that I do not have in my tool shed is a bow saw. I saw lots of people using it in the bushcraft uh, space, but I, I couldn't nail down which one I wanted to buy and then I saw Luke on one of his videos purchase this brand so I was like done done I trust his judgment there so <laughs> yeah so he's got his right here so I figured I'd test it out on something big first Take it how down. do you put it together <laughs> so you put this little notch right ah, in there okay right okay and that should Duh. and the first time you do it's the hardest okay right nice perfect all right let's give this a shot <laughs> Uh, the, uh, Can I the use that bad boy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a really cool axe, and uh, I've been eyeing nicer axes. So this seems pretty dry, but uh, we'll throw it on the fire and see how quickly it takes to catch. Let's sneak this in there. See how it burns. So Luke has a super cool surprise for lunch today. So Agent X uh, is already pretty excited about it. Hey, Agent X, do you read me over? They're all up uh, in the building playing Hot Wheels cars or something. Uh, no, they're already going. Never mind. I guess they're not. <laughs> we'll have to go find them. Oh, there they are, right there, coming down the road. So Agent X is getting a stick for the meal Luke's preparing for lunch, and it's campfire corn dogs. So, are you excited about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Agent X really likes corn dogs, and he doesn't get them that often. So he got a green branch because when you're holding it over the fire, it's better that way. But we're gonna be dipping them in the oil, so maybe the green branch isn't really that necessary. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. That is so neat. Oh, it's like... It's almost done. It's like completely destroyed. It's okay. It's not destroyed, it's just unique. That's a very special corn dog, Axel. Don't, this is, this is my, don't be mean to the corn dog. <laughs> this is my corn dog. That is more than just a campfire corn dog. That is a work of art. <laughs> it's almost muddy, but... <laughs> yeah, it's like modern art, but it's a work yeah, of art. Yeah, modern art, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have a corn dog thief right here for sure. Corn dog thief. <laughs> you corn dog thief, huh? Yeah. There you go, Nathan. Brand plug. <laughs> oh, careful. That's a sharp stick. You don't want that at the back of your throat. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. Oh. oh, that's great. Wow. A plus, Luke. That is fantastic. <laughs> Agent X, mm -hmm. what's your favorite food now? Corn dogs. Campfire corn dogs? Mm -hmm. these, are these better than the regular corn dogs? Yeah. Yeah. 
they are so much better. They have this like fresh, crispy like uh, aspect to them that regular corn dogs just do not have. Yeah. Mm. Oh. What do you got? One, there? two, three, four. There's twelve fiddlehead right here. That is and awesome. There's five, ten right here, and wow. there is five right here. See? Oh wow! It's just oh. sprouting up right there. That is so neat. And then look, there's wood sorrel growing underwater. What? Yeah. Is that... Reach down and get one. It looks like clover, right? That... Oh, that is wood sorrel. You're right. Uh, Asian X and Tommy are in charge of uh, finding wild edibles today uh, for the food that we're going to be cooking with Luke. There's a branch on the ground. Uh -huh. so they jumped on it. And then she bounced off onto the ground. What? Mm -hmm. She ran on this branch. Uh -huh. And then she bounced on here. Ah. And, she, and then, guess what? And then what? She bounced <laughs> on here. And then this made her bounce up and go on here. <laughs> wow. I did not do that. I love River like, stories. She tells the best stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to go? Yeah, all right, Ribby, you ready? You want to see River start a fire? Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> He's like, I want to see this in real life. Getting close. You oh, got you it. Oh, you did it. Nice you did work. It. Nice, good work. And keep stacking them on there. So now, are you a believer? I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really neat. She is great at starting fire. I really saw it. I was like, oh, that's sore. I was like, oh, I wonder how sore it's going to be this time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep, didn't take her too long. Yeah, All right, yeah, you gonna close it? And also that photo. Nice. Yeah. So that'll keep us warm here. I'm gonna check on Does my Does it feel cold? Sleep. You put your hand right here? Yep, that's because it's sucking cold air because oh the heat God. is shooting out that pipe and it's creating a vacuum. And it's sucking cold air right through you. That's why it feels cold right here. I'm gonna set this on cold. Actually, it's actually a little easy one to do all three. Luke had an idea to make a moss bed in the teepee and it's going to take a lot of moss. And so I was like, oh, this was a failed experiment here, but we got all this moss. It'll work perfect. So, so we kind of put the kids to work here, loading it up. Good job, you all. Look, we're Good work, agents. Good look, work. Look, You're burying your... <laughs> That's great. Look at this. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? So we got dinner ready, huh? Yeah, we got a fiddlehead uh, butter chicken curry here. Fiddlehead butter chicken curry. That sounds like something yeah. you would spend a lot of money on at a restaurant. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just locally sourced. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get Agent Axe and Tommy. They're somewhere. Don't know where. I was calling them, they wouldn't answer. So, anyways, because it's dinner time. There they are. Are right, you guys? It's dinner time. So dinner time. We're, we're just having a dinner time. So we can do the animal from me time. Uh, not right now. Not right now. Maybe, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go down. <laughs> Agent X loves to cook, I, I and really he want to have really it's his love language, and he really wanted to make animal crackers for, for the outdoor boys. <laughs> and I wanted, wanted to share a bit. Luke's been doing all the cooking, obviously. Cool. For those of you who know. Luke is a camp cooking expert, so. Also as known as Cam B. Yeah. Luke is ready. Come on, let's go. The food's yeah, ready. Let's go. You... So this is the meal. I think you'll be able to get some more it is delicious. You did a fantastic right? job, man. This is so good. Yeah, hey, try, you know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling really like, man, that feeling that I know this isn't gonna be enough. I could eat about three times as much. <laughs> so, thank you so much. We really appreciate you cooking for us all like this. I, I can't coast on my good looks forever, man. Gotta bring, we gotta bring skills to this relationship. What do you think, Axel? Is it good? Yeah, and Daddy, you threw it all the camp king. Did you have some Asian Trinity? I did. I'm just gonna get a few more bites for myself. Okay. Actually, for the baby. I'm blaming the, yeah, I blame the baby. Rainbow. Agent yeah. Rainbow. Yeah, she gets to eat twice. Ooh, once for her, and once for Agent Rainbow. So check this out. The boys went and they harvested wild fiddlehead fern, and it is amazing. Isn't that fiddlehead fern good in there? Uh huh. It's got this perfect crunch, and man, it's great. So good. Thank you. 
All right, so we got a campfire going here, marshmallows after dinner, and you guys want to hear a story? Yeah. yeah. All right, I got, I got a story for you all, okay? But first, we're going to check out the D.B. Cooper bomb here. So this is the briefcase that D.B. Cooper had, and it's got a bomb inside, so be careful, okay? There's the bomb. Look at it. Now, you have to be careful. Whatever you do, do not push that button, okay? Whatever you do, all right? Like don't, no, it? no, don't, 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 ah. We're dead. Nothing happened. It's a fake bomb. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Many people think it was actually a fake bomb. Okay, well, actually, the briefcase was black that D.B. Cooper had, so that's for one thing. Another thing, it probably looked a little bit more professional than this, but did you know that D.B. Cooper actually had, instead of TNT or whatever that's called inside of there, Guess what he had? Oh, Mars? <laughs> marshmallows. Ah, I saw it. D.B. Cooper actually had marshmallows. Inside are these the strawberry marshmallows? No, no. they. <laughs> those, those are too big. They wouldn't fit in there. <laughs> Hidden underneath the bomb was something else. So open it up. See Is what's underneath. Money? Hidden underneath the bomb was survival gear. He definitely had an adventure agent survival I'm, knife. Hidden I'm underneath the bomb. What? Where That's what I think. I, I think that he had a fake bomb in a briefcase. There's two more marshmallows stuck in I know, they're stuck in the sand. Yeah, <laughs> no, you pulled And I think that he Wait, actually what? had like some they're survival gear in, in the briefcase Wait, hidden no, underneath. Let go, let go. I don't know, it's just my theory. I think it would be a great idea. He took the briefcase with him. And I don't know why else he would ah, take it with him. Two marshmallows. Uh, and maybe he just threw it out the window. Two other marshmallows. <laughs> okay, so are you all ready for the story? Yeah. Are you ready? I can yeah. do it. Okay, so in order for me to tell a story, I need everyone to be, to be quiet and pay attention, okay? Can you do that? Okay. This story is about a boy, and he's about 14 years old. He's an orphan. Do you know what an orphan is? No. He, he doesn't, uh, doesn't have any parents. It's kind of sad, uh, right? But he lives in a community where uh, p other people take care of him besides his parents, basically. And, and he lives with lots of other boys who are also orphans. Anyways, he lives in this area, and lived in this area in the Pacific Northwest. And every summer, the orphanage, the, the community would take him to a survival camp out in the wilderness. And they would teach him survival skills and how to fish and how to hunt small game and trap small game. And uh, he loved it. And he was really good at it, too. In fact, he was so good and so confident that at one point, when he was 14, he was so just, he was very sick and tired of the, uh, of living in an orphanage. And he just didn't like it. He really didn't like it. He loved being in the wild. And so one summer, the night before, they were all supposed to go back to the orphanage from the wilderness camp. He decided he was going to sneak out and run away. Oh my gosh. He finally got the courage. He got a backpack full of survival gear. And he got a survival knife, a fire starter. He got a, uh, his fishing gear, sleeping bag, a tarp. And he went out into the wild. He even got a little bit of food. And he just ran and ran all night to get as far away because he knew that the, the, the people were going to be looking for him the next day, obviously, because he was missing. He ran far enough and he hid well enough that nobody ever found him. And he lived in the wild all alone by himself, 14 years old. And he was Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> looking for Bigfoot. And he, and, he, and he fished, he caught trout, and he trapped small game, and he ate whatever he had to to survive. And he lived in a cave that he kind of camouflaged because he didn't want anyone who happened to be hiking or hunting in the area to, to find his shelter. So he really camouflaged it really well to look like the side of a rock wall. Um, but he survived out there for, for months and months. And then it was getting into the cold time of the year where uh, in November where it was raining a lot, just really cold. And, and he still wanted to stay out, but he was kind of missing, um, you know, uh, the comforts of, of being able to be fed at the, at the, uh, the orphanage. And he decided to stay, though. He wasn't going to leave. And oh, one night, uh, a plane, he, he heard planes fly over all the time, but one night a plane float flew so low, and it was so loud, that he could feel the engines rumbling. Oh, oh. <laughs> so he was scared because the plane was so low. And then he heard a yelling, and then a crashing in the trees, and then silence. And it was kind of storming and raining, so... He didn't go out until the next day. The next morning, he crept out really cautiously and looked around. And close to where his shelter was, he found a man hanging from a tree by a parachute. D.B. Cooper. Maybe. 
and, uh, and DB uh, and I mean uh, <laughs> and, like, and the man <laughs> and the man was just dangling there and the boy didn't know if he was unconscious or if he was dead he wasn't sure because the man wasn't moving and so finally he, he got close enough to where he could kind of hear the man breathing and he knew that he was alive and then he looked directly beneath the man and directly beneath the man he saw a big sack and he like walked up to the sack. sack. Like he yeah. He walked yeah, he walked up to the sack and he opened it up and inside it was full of cash. He's and, Divi Cooper. And and so he decided he took the cash and he hid it somewhere. Because once he saw the money, he thought, Oh, this man's a thief. He's a criminal. And what he was worried about is that the man would tell people where the boy was. But now that he's a now that he knew the man was a criminal. Well, he knew he had something on the man and that that he knew that the man wouldn't want to tell where the boy was because he would also wouldn't want the boy to tell that he saw that this man had stolen some money and so he decided to start to talk to the man since he felt safe the man was still dangling from a parachute in the tree right so he felt kind of safe at the time he could just run away if the man was mean but the man was really really nice actually he was very polite just like db just yeah like just like agent they said db cooper was yeah mm -hmm. like agent db and he was really polite and he and he politely asked the boy if he could help him and so the boy was kind of scared but his good heart got the better of him and he and he wanted to help the man he was in pain and he was obviously couldn't uh couldn't help himself so he helped to slowly lower the parachute down and the last few feet, though, it slipped, and the man fell and fell on his leg. And he, ah, he, he yelled because evidently his leg was hurt pretty bad. And so the boy went up and helped him, and the man hey. said he thought his leg was probably broken because he hit hey. a branch on the way down really hard. Oh, that would jack it up. Yeah, that pretty bad. It. And so the, man help, uh, the boy helped the man to his shelter that wasn't too close, too far away, and, and he heat him up some, some tea, some fur tea, and, and the man drank, and he felt so much better just from having that tea. Well, well, the boy took a cup from the, from the survival shelter. Because oh, yeah. he had a little survival cup, you know, that you, you that you're kind of like your dad has sometimes where he cooks stuff in. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm So they had that, and he took one of those. And so he boiled him up some tea, and the man drank, and then the man fell asleep. Hey. And the boy kept checking him to see if his, like, heart was still beating. And, and then the boy went and, to the stream, and he caught some trout like he did every day. And, and he came back and the man was awake again. And the man politely asked him, could I have some food? And, and the boy made him some more tea and some food. And the man, he ate and, uh, and he sat he there. A, he heard a dog barking. He heard a dog barking, yeah. And so now we're gonna hear Agent Tracker the whole time. <laughs> and so the man, then he stopped. Uh, he paused after eating and took a deep sigh and said, so what's a boy like you doing out here in the middle of the woods all alone? And the Mama boy stopped, paused for a second, and then he looked at the man and said, Well, the question is, what's a man like you dangling from a tree with a parachute with a sack full of money doing out here? He's a... And the, and the, the man didn't know that the boy knew about the money at this time, until now. Like, huh? And so the man smiled immediately, and he laughed, and he said, You're a smart kid. And so the man told him the whole story. The whole story. No, tell us the story yeah. that he well, did. Well, the story was that the man, he was a fighter pilot in Vietnam. And he, he fought in that war and he did some, some, some things that were pretty terrible. He, he, he bombed some things and it, it was stuff that just really hurt him inside later. And he, he was really upset that, that the government made him do that or, or had him do that. He, he didn't necessarily have to do it, but he did it. And he was so angry at them that he wanted to get back at the government. And so he decided to, to pull off a hoax, or pull off a, 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 a heist of this plane that was so big that it was sure to get popular and everyone would know about it. And then if he did it right, the FBI couldn't even solve the case. And then he would make the government look foolish. And that was his way of getting back at them. And so when he finished his story telling about how everything happened, the boy seemed to have a little bit of empathy for the man that he understood maybe why he did something like this and so the man didn't even really care that much about the money although he he was planning on using the money uh it was more for him about getting back at, at what he saw was something not good that the government did but the boy helped him and nursed him back to health helped fix his leg and 
throughout that time, the boy helped the man to kind of have a change of heart. And eventually he convinced the man to at least do something good with the money. And so the man agreed that he would. And the man and the boy actually became buddies, essentially, because they were both kind of outlaws, right? Stay, trying to stay away from laws. If the boy got found out, they would definitely take him back. He wouldn't be able to live in the wild, and he'd prefer to live in the wild. And the man, well, he couldn't be found out because he would definitely go to jail. And so they became friends. And, and they, they kept started, each other's they, start, they, they kept hiding out, but they needed to get on the move. So they started traveling around and hiding out in forests and uh, desert areas that were uh, uh, where they could hide and stay away from people. And they survived for years and years. And all along the way, they hid the money in various locations around the world. And they, every time they would hide the money, they would create a system of clues and riddles to where the money was hidden. Just like you have been finding on the Adventure mm -hmm. Agents. Yeah. And so, I have one of those riddles. And tomorrow, you guys are going to help me try to find some of that money. Yeah. Brilliant! Yeah. <laughs> did, did you like the story? I loved story? it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Even me? <laughs> Alright, so, but we are. Even tomorrow, even I, me? tomorrow, even you, we have a riddle, and we're going to try and find some, some D.B. Cooper $20 bills, okay? Does that sound like fun? Yeah. All right, all right. You might need a little help from uh, Agent yeah. uh, uh, Camp King there. <laughs> and also, because, uh, we're adventuring. It, it, the some, fake one. There's some pretty tough riddles. Oh, I didn't, I didn't this tent, this uh, teepee thing is so cool. This is awesome. We're going to sleep in here later tonight, but we got to put them to bed because they're on a way different time zone than us. So we're going to, me and Agent Axe are going to sleep in here, but we're going to sneak in later. So we got to get out of here. Okay, come on, let's go. I promised Agent Hummingbird that we would go on a go-kart ride and it's dark now. But we're going to go on a nighttime go-kart ride. Okay? Mm -hmm. right, I feel the house. Yeah, let's go, get a, let's go get a flashlight so we can drive around the go-kart. All right, so we got our Adventure Agent's Lantern here that will be back in stock hopefully within the next, like, month. <laughs> Agent Hummingbird is going to shine the way. We're gonna go on a nighttime go kart ride. She kept asking me over and over again. Gotta make sure to make good on that promise. I love doing this at night. Oh, I can't see anything. some video stuff yeah. so we're gonna have to sneak into the tent over there without waking everybody up oh the fire's still warm a little bit took a little coal <laughs> chill <laughs> all right we're gonna go to bed see you Last night, getting a video up, and it had to be pretty late. <laughs> so, anyways, I need some coffee. I heard you say in a video once that uh, I want to make you feel old right now. That there's an unwritten rule about camping, and then whenever you're out camping with your kids, that the dad gets up in the morning and makes a campfire breakfast so he's got that ready when they wake up yeah so thanks dad <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to take your kids camping once getting them to go twice is yeah. a challenge <laughs> um, I have so never steel had cut oatmeal, oatmeal for breakfast <laughs> and I have never had <coughs> axel's first swiss miss <laughs> what's a swiss miss it's the it's it's the brand the hot chocolate a swiss christmas so hot chocolate yes from <laughs> switzerland yeah oh really that is the best steering spatula ever. Ah, mm. Coffee is best enjoyed outdoors. I'm so glad to be an outdoor dad. This is great. I love it. This is great. Luke and uh, <laughs> Becca gave me this awesome mug. Yes. say something to the camera. What? What are you going to say? What if the treasure is a garden snake? What if the treasure is a cute little favorite Agent Tracker doggy? <laughs> hey, Faven, Agent Tracker is quite the treasure. All right, agents, well, we're going on a treasure hunt now. Are you all ready to go on a treasure hunt? Yeah! Woo
All right, well, come on over here, okay? I have the clue, the first clue in my backpack here. In your backpack? Yep. Yep, you got it. All right, so I have here, I have here the exclusive first clue. You know the story we told last night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That the boy and the man, you may have guessed now as D.B. Cooper, <laughs> that they made up for the hidden treasure of the money around the world, okay? Around the country. Are you ready? So just in case one gets uh, lost, we, we have two. Start it. <laughs> okay, Start so hold on. Are you agents ready to hear the clue? Yeah. Okay, so pay very close attention, okay? And think very, very intently about this clue and what it could mean, okay? All right, you ready? Read it off, Agent X. Start at the home that's built with care where gushing laughter fills the air. Al's house. Okay, start at the home that's built with care. Al's house. With gushing laughter that fills the air. That, that you know, that Al did build a home but with care and gushing laughter. What would that mean? We laugh in it. We talk that's to him. That's true, yeah. Care. And okay. D.B. Cooper. A home that's made by creatures few gives life to many old and new. Ow. Ah. Ow. Him and his cat. Or us and our dog. <laughs> Tiny well, dog. a home that's made by creatures, will we typically refer to Al as a creature? No, no, no. Maybe a beaver. Because beavers beaver. make their Beaver. Home. You're right. Okay, that's good. That's good. I, I think we might be on to something. that great house and up the path that's headed south. A tree within a tree, a bridge of roots. Find where we meet, then dig for loot. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Dig for loot. Man, whoever came up with this is pretty neat. <laughs> so there's another one, but I guess let's focus on the first one because we need to know where to start, right? Start, right? We need to know where to begin, right? No, I think we start to be. I think we saw at the beaver. No. At the beaver. Okay. So so you said beaver. Beaver. But this says start at the home. The beavers could be at the owl's home in the mm -hmm. pond. Okay. So, so, so if we're if we're thinking that this creature, these creatures, is a beaver, what would be the home? Remember okay. the video where you caught a beaver coming out of its den? Yes. Uh huh. In the hole. Right. So a beaver's home is a hole. That's true. A beaver's home would be its hole, but but what? But beavers build Look. dams Damn. to make what? The water higher. And when the water rises up higher, and it's a big body now, what do you call it? Uh, pond. A lake or a pond? A lake or a pond, yeah, exactly. Okay, all right, so, but what's the next thing? A home that's made by creatures few. No, I know what it is. Start of the home that's both care or gushing laughter flows here. That's Al's house. A home that's made by creatures few gives life to many old and new. The beavers, the dam right next to Al's house. house is old. Yes, but was the, was the dam next to Al's house built by a beaver? Mm -hmm. No. Whatever creatures build this, there's only few creatures, right? But the home they build gives life to many. Old and so do do beaver ponds give life to many other creatures? No. Yeah. 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 So that I think I think this beaver pond thing is checking out. So where do we know of a beaver pond? Are there what? nearby? The okay. Lake. The lake that you found. Well, we know of two beaver ponds that are close. Well, one that's close is right there, but there's another beaver pond or a succession of beaver ponds that's way up over here on the hill. That's but I think we should start with what's closest to us because that's the easiest for now, right? Uh -huh. So let, let's go ahead and head that way. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, all right, all right, let's do it. Well. All right, agents, well. I think we're on to something. Well. Let's head that way and see what we can find. No. So who's gonna lead the way to the beaver pond? I will. All right, um, is it that way? I believe all right, let's go, let's see. Well, I, I believe it's this one. <laughs> We'll see. I think <laughs> there's two ways to every beaver pond. This is deep enough for a Whoa. trout. This is deep this enough. Oh yeah, trout. you're right. There was a trout right there. Yep, a trout just swam across right there. All right, so the pond's up there. We got to figure out some kind of way to cross. Oh, I know way. I can just jump. I know you can just jump. You think so? Here, maybe I can throw you. Oh look, there's a log over there. You want to try that? Uh, Agent Hex made it. All right, hold on real quick. Oh, whoa, whoa, nice. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I did it without spilling my coffee. Man, I'm so proud of myself. Good job, Agent Tex. I should start calling you Dream. You're amazing. A dream? Like the gamer. <laughs> oh, the gamer dream, okay. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no, Agent. Ninja, ninja, ninja. 
Ninja, Ninja, Ninja! Get out of here! No, my boot's soaking wet. Oh no! Well, it's a good thing it's a warm day, so. Now it's even wild! Oh no! Jump and then land on all fours, kind of. I'll take your backpack. I'll take your backpack. It'd be easier to do without. All right. Can you take my hand? Okay, yeah, I can take your hand too. Okay, ready? Jump! Yeah, you could have done that by yourself. I should have made him do it by himself. He could have done it. There's your backpack. Thank you. You're what? welcome. So, Ajax, read it again. Let's establish where we are in the, a in the riddle. A made by creatures few gives life to many old and new. Okay, so, so do we think that we've located what they're describing here as the home? Mm -hmm. Do we think we have? Roots? Yeah, I know. Okay, so we're here at a we beaver pond right here. And we've kind of yeah. established we think this is the home that they're talking about in the riddle. So what it means by cross the walls of that great house? Well, if this beaver pond is the house, what would be the walls? Right Agent there. Hummingbird's got it. You're, yeah, I think so. Right there. Yeah. Agent Hummingbird's got it. Is that the den? So Agent Camp King had a really bad encounter with a beaver. And he was explaining to us that... Uh, Beavers can chew your legs off. <laughs> All right, so Agent Axe found the den of the beavers, and I think he's right. I saw them digging under there, and, and I think that's where the beaver's den is. Okay, so this is the wall of the home, okay? Then cross the walls of that great house, up the path that's headed south, okay? Go south. That's southish. Do you see a path that's across the wall headed south? You do? Okay. It does look like there's a path over here. This is all falling into place, agents. It's all falling into place. It really is lining up. It's like somebody planned it. That path what? where we were picking those red sand bears, it was down that yeah. path? Yeah. Uh-huh. I remember that. All right. Okay, Agent X said he found the next clue. Oh, sorry. A tree within a tree, a bridge of roots. Find where we meet, then dig for loots. So, a tree within a tree. This is an old western red cedar stump and a tree growing out of it, within it. But they don't have a bridge. But where's the bridge of roots? On this side. Maybe I think we're on to something here. Maybe Uncle Dale? Maybe I think. I don't know. Are we, are we on to something? Oh, we're on to something. Like I just don't know what the something is. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> well, the bridge what? of roots. Whoa. Ah, okay, look. These roots kind of, they look like a bridge. I, guess, I mean, if you went under here, that'd be kind of a bridge. Look, what? Look, that one might be a bridge. And look, that's, yeah. that's a Maybe, maybe. Look, look right okay. there. Okay. There, look, there's a big hole right there. Oh, dude, there is a big hole. Okay, bring the metal detector, Agent X. Maybe use a metal detector around, just kind of around here. See if you can come up with anything. Right there where that hole is. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you okay, Agent Ninja Ninja? That was an epic fall. That was so cool. Yeah, you, you just <laughs> That was so cool. You need help up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, that was so cool, but... He's seriously injured. It looked no, like he's pretty soft. No, it didn't hurt at all. Okay, he's a tough kid. He's super tough. If any of you have ever seen the Outdoor Boys videos, you know that this kid is one of the toughest kids on the planet. <laughs> That's for sure. And he's got his dad to thank for it. <laughs> and, also I can, and also I can count to 102. And, and he's smart. Tough and smart. That's that's all you need, really. <laughs> and kind-hearted too. He, I can attest to that. He's a nice good-looking. Good and good-looking. I'm sorry, I forgot. Nicholas boys are good-looking. <laughs> Man, they got everything. Whole package. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right back up doing it again. <laughs> well, we also don't wear our last. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to say? So, uh, by the way, uh, when Nathan came down, he it looks like he just fell out of nowhere. I was like, whoa. It did. Yeah. I, I, it was from? like he wasn't there, and then he he fell onto the scene. <laughs> Did you find something? Okay, Agent X says he found something. Wow, that is awesome. You made it. Nice work. <laughs> it looks like Agent X found something else over here. So let's go check it out. Oh, dude. Look at Dude, give me five. A tree. Is it going off? 
a bridge of roots. Look at this. Look, there's a tunnel that goes all the way through here. It is like a bridge. The roots of the bridge. Okay, well, oh, I have a shovel. Hold on. I have a shovel. Yeah, that's definitely it. That's definitely treasure. Look, there's a box. That's, no, that's a box. A, what it's is a, it? Uh, what is that? Time capsule. They stole it. Oh, it's just a metal pipe. Well, if there's something uh, in it. That's probably left over from, Wait, like, open it. logging open or it. something. All right, open it up. Told you, twenty dollar bills. What, dude? Big what do you know? <laughs> there's money. I told Can you. Wow, it? I cannot believe this. I told you. I can't, my whole life. I can't believe it. It's not real. It can't be real. It is. It is. Oh, oh I'll just. It's. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh. Let's see. Um, Can I have one? Okay, I'll have one. <laughs> I have one. All right. Well, it looks like we found some of DB's treasure, but uh, the date doesn't look right here. 2013. Maybe, maybe he did an exchange. You know they do that sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Wolfie yeah. actually stole some money. <laughs> like Thanks, Ninja. Thanks, TV. We're rich. We are rich. Okay, so. Can I have one of these? I can, I can keep it. I can keep it. You can keep it? No way. Yeah, my Dude, that's awesome. Girl, you got your DB money? Dad. That is awesome. There hey, might be more. Do you want me to hold you think there's more? All right, so Agent Daddy, Camp Daddy, King's going to hold all Daddy, the money. Daddy, <laughs> there's more, my friends. Adventure on. And while you do, pray sing this song. Athuga plicata. What a wonderful phrase. Athuga plicata with arms for days. Head east from bridge to find the arms. Sway north a bit, then dig for charms. Wait, look at her! Look at her! <laughs> <laughs> That's her new home! That's her new home! That's her new home. That is a She's pretty cool home. She's looking for her DB money. Yeah, yeah, right. She's like, where's mine? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you some bones with, with my D.B. Cooper money, okay? Wait, is that a real song? Athuga Placata. You know, it sounds a lot like the Lion King. Athuga Placata, what is that? What do we do when we don't know what something is? Look it up, look it up. Look it up! Man, let's get smart. Athuga Placata, commonly called Western Red Cedar or Pacific Red Cedar. Giant arbivore it or Western arbivore it. Or just cedar, giant cedar or shinglewood. That's what it is. <laughs> I, I love So, do, do any of you know how to identify a western red cedar? Western red cedar, what a wonderful phrase. Western red cedar, er, with, with arms for days. With arms for days. Wait, what does that mean? wait, wait, look, 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 oh, branches. Branches, branches. Yes, arms of trees or branches. Man, these kids are just, they're just knocking it out of the park them. today. Okay, so, but, but all trees have branches and arms. What, what's so special about that? Do you know how to identify a western red cedar? Because the red? The red? Yeah, yeah there's there's some red there. It's actually, the red has to do with... Point to a tree that you think is a western red cedar. Yeah, let's do that. You think that is? Yeah. You would be correct. That is a western red cedar. All right, well, while Agent Nature is searching around the base of this western red cedar, I'm going to keep reading this, okay? Head east from bridge to find the arms. Sway north a bit, then dig for charms. Okay, so head east from bridge. We've established, what, what is the bridge? Agent Axe. Oh, right there. Right there, yes. So it's head, head east from bridge. So how would you head east from bridge? Wait. My phone and the, uh, uh, and the shadows make me think east is that way. East is that way, okay. All right, so Agent Camp King here is helping us out with which way east is. So head east for bridge to find the arms. Sway north a bit. Okay. So, so that's east. So how would you sway? How would you head east and sway north at the same time? What northeast? Northeast. Okay. All right. So if we determine east is somewhere that way, and what? north what? is that way, what? so northeast. Which would northeast South. be? Northeast. About that way. Okay. Yeah, is that way. All right. Okay. Northeast. All right. So head northeast from. The, the bridge of roots, let's do it. Head east for bridge to find the arms. To find the arms, okay? So, let's look for something that stands out as arms. I know that branches of trees look like arms. They all look like arms. But maybe we'll find something that's a bit more like arms than normal branches. The, or the trees, branches will wave at us. Maybe like they will, this. yeah. That, that's say, it. Hi. That's it. And then we'll run. Oh run really fast. <laughs> Wait, remember Old Man Willow? And yeah, Lord yeah. And the Lord of the Rings? Oh, that would be cool. Oh, Just I don't sit down and take a nap next to the tree with arms that waves at you. Of, <laughs> what if we see an end? What if we see an end? An end. end. That'd be oh, cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Point us northeast, Agent Axe. <laughs> All right, head that way. Let's see it. Look around, keep your eyes peeled Wait, I have for, to peel. 
arms for days. A Thuga Placata and arms for days. So you found it. Agent X said he found it. Oh, my back. Oh, oh so many trees fell in this ice storm. You got it, man? My back feels... My back is tired. Your back is tired, too? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That was great. That was awesome. Age of Trinity. That was all Age of Rainbow. You impressed me. That was all Age of Rainbow. Yeah, you're right. That is. Does that look like arms? Yeah. Does that look more... Does that look more like arms than the normal branches around like, here? Like, it looks like it's doing that. It does. Not if this was an arm, where would its elbow be? Right there. Exactly, right. So so it and does I, I know what look this is adding like up arms. to. What? A beaver. Oh, a look at that. A tex. A beaver cedar tex. Are you accusing me of, 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 <laughs> of teaming up with the beavers? Yeah. Actually, I do. I team up with the beavers on this one. <laughs> so yeah, Wait. look at that. See, beavers love the tender bark of the western red cedar. So they, they pretty much destroy them. <laughs> Maybe we found it. Let's look around with the oh. metal detector. Oh, that was quick. Tom. Agent Nature, he's too quick with this. Oh my, how'd you get up there? It's the end. The end is holding me. The end is holding him. Look, that's so perfect. Uh, I am imagining that mo the, the, the movie, you know, yeah. Lord of the Rings, and they're they're walking, hmm, and they're holding. Uh, <laughs> who is that? Uh, who 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 are the Ents holding in Lord of the Rings? I I, I know. Merry and Pippin. Yeah, you got it. Merry and Pippin. Yep. You're that is great. <laughs> All right. Well, will you you want to dig there? Where's our shovel? Axel. Do you have a shovel? Yeah. Oh no, I have it. It's, it's in my pocket. <laughs> All right, Agent X is hard at work here. Look. It, it, well, you hear that? That's big noise right there. Yeah, I would try to dig right there. I found it! Oh, nice! It's another one. What do you know? It's the same one. Let me hear. Let me hear. Oh, there's something else in there. Maybe it's nails. Oh, nails, yeah. Yeah, I think it's probably nails. All right, ready? All right, ready? Agent Rainbow? Ready? Agent Rainbow power! Twist! Oh, oh look at that! Her side broke. Wow. wow. All right, man. See, it's all dirty. It must have been here for many years. Many, 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 many years. No, you <laughs> hid it. You hid it. You I did not. Yes, you did. You're accusing me. You. I'm hiding this. I got hiding you. You said you're going to make a treasure hunt. I didn't make. Uh, oh, it, I did say that. Yeah. They caught me. It's. I looked. It's just Let's nails. It's, it's just nails. nails. Okay. All right. Oh uh, well. Just, I'll take it home and build a house. Nothing to see here. Can I have Silver nails. Liar! Can I have Silver nails. <laughs> They're just shaped differently. Yeah. Can I have oh, one? Money three. too! Is there money in there too? More you know? money. Another 20. <laughs> Another 20. <laughs> Give me the 20s. Give, Give me the 20s. Me the 20s. <laughs> I, like, I want that green. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do you think? Oh, was was it uh, was this a great treasure hunt or what? Yeah! Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All what? right. Hey. You did it? You, you all did really, really well. I, I, I'm really proud of you all. They did so great finding this treasure. Mm, yeah, that's real silver. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you still want that one, but. <laughs> yep, that is real silver right there. Hey, you know why, Agent Camp King? You have raised some pretty smart kids, and uh, and they are awesome, awesome agents. Daddy, yep. can you do a for all of us? Can you I do. Wait, how much money? Cost. That's that's about thirty two bucks right there, thirty three bucks. No, let's make a treasure hunt for us. <laughs> you want? So did, did you? Th who do you think made this treasure hunt? No, I mean DB Cooper. You think DB Cooper did really? Mm -hmm. no, you I really think, think so? Think you yeah, be no, because you didn't know what one of the clues means. But what if I was just pretending not to know? You want me to keep that safe? Yeah. That's a good you idea. Are. You, you don't think I was? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, let me tell you. I was pretending. Did I do a pretty good job of pretending? Mm -hmm. I did a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah. I, I I really get into the story here. And I get so into the story that uh, it just comes alive in my imagination. And it it's, it's kind of scary how serious I get about it. <laughs> just kidding. It's not really scary. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we have had a blast out here with the Outdoor Boys and super excited to have them here on our property. Super thankful. We are thankful. Uh, let me tell you what. Some of you who watch YouTube and YouTubers might 
be curious about these people who put their lives on the internet, their families, and you might wonder, like, how is it to actually really, like, meet them? You know, what, like, what are their lives cool actually as like? <laughs> it's it's a huge cool. letdown. <laughs> but, but let me tell you what, this family, I can attest to that. They are a wonderful family, and we just had such a good time with them. They've just been so um, kind and helpful, and, and they, they really are a good happy family now we we haven't seen everything right and but you don't see everything either and and so there are moments that are difficult and uh, but but just hang out with them for a little bit we, we watch closely this is a wonderful family here so definitely go check out their channel the outdoor boys I'll put a link in the description down below for the you know 1% of you who don't know who they are already <laughs> they do awesome camping videos and so if you want to know anything about camping Luke here is really is the camp king and he has so many amazing camping videos that he can if you're interested in getting out and camping that he can teach you how to really do it right and some practical videos and some impractical videos yeah. <laughs> but you can tell mostly by the thumbnail whether it's a practical or impractical <laughs> and, and he's really got a database of good camping videos there so all right everybody so what do we say at the end of every video live uh... all right you. awesome is right there. agent x Agent uh, X out? Yeah. Agent Hungerbird out. Agent Nature out. And Agent and Ninja. Agent and Ninja and Ninja out. Agent Ninja out. <laughs> Agent guys. Trinity oh, out. No. And Agent Rainbow out. Agent Elk out. That was way too cute. <laughs> Agent Tex out. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, adventure agents. So I have $2,000 in cash, real money here. $20 bills, DB Cooper, $20 bills. And we are gonna make the biggest treasure hunt that we've ever done so far here in the state of Washington next weekend. I have the second riddle from the boy who was with DB Cooper and he hid the second stash of D.B. Cooper $20 bills somewhere here in the state of Washington. I'm going to tell you where that is. Ten families are going to have the opportunity to find ten of these time capsules with $200 inside of each of them. Located inside of this container here. Now, this is an exclusive treasure hunt. We're going to have to vet the families because I got a lot of cash sitting in here and I can't just give the riddles out to anybody. So I'm going to tell you here in just a minute how you can get access to these riddles. But first, I want to talk about something really quick. We were so grateful and so blessed to have um, the outdoor boys and girls and mom <laughs> come on out here and film some awesome videos with us and just have a wonderful time. And I want to tell you, I got to talking to Luke a little bit about something. And, um, you know, different people believe different things. I believe things that you might not believe or your family might not believe. And Luke and I, we don't believe all the exact same things, but we got to talking, and we got to talking about love. And one thing Luke told me that I totally agree with is that whatever it is, it has to be acted out, right? And we talk about that a lot. Love is the key. But what does love look like, right? Love is a who, I believe, but what does it look like right now in the world? And so there's a person who I talk about a lot here. His name is Yeshua or Jesus. Some of you may know him and I'll probably talk about him a lot more because um, I find him to be a very interesting person. Um, more than interesting but uh, somebody said that he said something and in our last episode we talked about this a little bit but uh, right before he went and he was going to die, he knew he was going to die according to the story, he said something really interesting to the people who were his friends and he said to them it was the only commandment he ever gave them. Love one another. Now, but it didn't end there. Love one another as I have loved you. Now, I find that very, very interesting. Very interesting. Because, see, it's one thing for me to say, life's an adventure, love is a key, uh, love each other. Me to tell Axel, you know, Agent X, love your, lo love, love your sister or tell him that I love him. But see, it's a whole other thing to actually do it. And I find it very interesting and important to me that this man told the people who followed him and were his friends, love one another as I have given you an example of love. 
and that is very important agents very important so anyways I just thought that was really neat and I want to tell you a quick story Luke and uh, so agent Camp King and agent oh we got somebody coming down here agent Axe is riding around with agent Rex <laughs> a Camp King and agent a ninja Adinja when I woke up in the morning agent a ninja Adinja he was out here sitting by the fire and he was just warming himself and Camp King, Agent Camp King was getting the, the, uh, the breakfast going. And I heard him say something that I thought was really, really neat. He was sitting there just completely silent and all of a sudden, when I was in the tent, I heard him say, Daddy, I love you. Man, that was powerful. That was so powerful. Because, see, we don't know them very well. We've only met them a couple times, or once, really, uh, for a couple days. And so how do we know that they really love their kids? And we sent your families to go watch their shows. How do we know that they're, they're people who really share love? And I thought that that, to me, was as good a sign of any that they really do love their children. And it was just a, a wonderful thing, I thought, to hear that to hear that he didn't make him say it didn't ask him to say it he just felt it and said it to his dad and I thought that was neat okay agents so if you want to find out how you can get access to this treasure hunt go ahead and check the link in description down below to sign up for our email list it's going to be next weekend the weekend after Easter 2021 and also sign up for our adventure agents app we're going to be sending out an email and posting on there how you are going to be able to get access to this treasure hunt early next week so that you can be prepared to go on the weekend and find the treasure. And if the weekend's already passed, you can actually check in our treasure hunt section on our Adventure Agents app and you can go and find the location of this by following the riddle. And even though there won't be any money left, you'll still be able to take your family on an awesome adventure and see if you can solve the mystery and find the location where the treasure was. And who knows, maybe somebody will leave a treasure there. Who knows, maybe, maybe we'll put some more treasure there randomly sometime and you'll find it. All right, agents, well, remember, life's an adventure and love is a key. And I am so excited that I get to share with you all our family's love of adventure. Take your family out have an adventure even if it's not this adventure right here take them out and have an adventure it's fantastic it's a great way your family can bond and that is why we make these videos is to inspire and encourage you all to take your families on an adventure agent tech's out all right adventure agent families well hopefully you enjoyed that episode and remember you can get early access to all of our adventure agent videos and also watch every single one of our family friendly videos on our new adventure agents app check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to it our app is a safe and ad-free place that your family can consume all of our family's content and don't forget to check out theadventureagents.com shop to get all of your adventure agents clothing badges and our new survival gear, which includes our Adventure Agents survival knife, fire starter, flashlight, backpacks, and so much more. We'll see you on the next adventure.